Hi, this is Asain. Today I would like to share how to create a reset button on user form. So what we have to do here is we go to the user form that we created. After that, we have to check the number of the particular objects that we have. For example, if let's say I want to reset all the text boxes, so what we have to do, we have to know the number of text boxes. So one, two, three. After that, I will create a reset button, then double click on it. Okay, then I will make use of the form loop for i equal to 1 to 3 since I have three, three, I have three text boxes. Okay, then I will make use of the control function. So me dot controls. If let's say we don't want to make use of the me, we can use the user form one. This is the name of the user form. Okay, then after that we type the object. So text box okay and i okay the purpose of using this function is because we want to use the object as a variable okay and then the syntax here is very important so make sure the t and the p are capital like this then dot value equal to nothing okay after finish the first one then we go to the next i okay we can check the output so the text box I will type A A A. Okay, reset everything turn to clear. Okay, then we do for the second one. The second one is combo box. Okay, since I have only one combo box, means that I don't have to make use of the control function. So what I have to do is I will just type me dot combo box. Okay, after that same dot value equal to nothing okay then we see our output okay then i will select okay for example mail if let's say i press on reset okay when i click on this again as we can see the list become double okay so what we have to do here is we just have to add a code okay then change the value to clear so means that the Excel will clear for us. Okay, mail, then clear. Okay, still one list. Okay, after that, option button. Okay, for option button, we can only select one. And then for checkbox, we can select more than one. Okay, for option button, I have two. And then of checkboxes, I also have two. So what I have to do is use for loop for two times. For, for I equal to 1 to 2 okay run for two times okay after that i will copy this code then paste here then i will change to option button option button and check box okay then we we type next one Okay, then we check and see. Okay, so can only select one, and then for this one, we can choose more than one. Okay, in let's say when we press on reset, everything turn to transparent. Okay, this is actually not what we want because what we want is actually unchecked then. So what we have to do here is we cannot use equal to nothing, but we have to change to false. False. Okay, then we try one more time. Okay, means nothing already. Okay, check and see. Okay. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.